Before I end, there is one word of advice for Iran. As I give the same advice to Pakistan, and I give the same advice to Russia, that your primary identity is your faith, not your nationality. So as you prepare for the war, you're not fighting as Russians. You're not fighting as Iranians. You're not fighting as Pakistanis. As soon as an attack is launched on Iran, the immediate result would be that Iran would become a nuclear weapon state, join the nuclear club. The, therefore, the question arises, will Israel attack Iran? I have said in previous videos, I'm almost absolutely certain that Pakistan will be enemy number one as soon as the war takes place, and they will attack Pakistan. And as presently prepared, Pakistan is not prepared at all. There's no hope at all that Pakistan can succeed in, in uh, 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 responding to an attack on Pakistan, to denuclearize Pakistan. There's no hope. But there is time for Pakistan to correct itself. And we have mentioned three initiatives. Number one, pertaining to India. Number two, pertaining to Russia. Number three, pertaining to Allah. And we've not spelled them out in detail. But in the case of Iran, it seems to me, and I can be wrong, that the master plan from the time of the origin of this Ummah and the emergence of the Shia sect in Islam, that the master plan has always been to try to foment Shia Sunni civil war in the house of Islam. And so I do not anticipate an attack on Iran similar to the attack on Pakistan to deliver a knockout blow to Iran and to break up Iran into Tukra, Tukra parts and pieces. That is the plan for Pakistan, but not for Iran. Because they want to trigger off Shia Sunni civil war. That's the trump card. And so I expect that it will be a lightning strike on Iran simply to trigger off a war. That's all. But more than that. And that they will allow Iran to take Bahrain because that's the first prize very easily for Iran to take Bahrain. And as soon as Iran take Bahrain, because the population is majority Shia, and they're being ruthlessly oppressed by Sunni, a Sunni government that is an oppressor. So the people will welcome Iran in Bahrain. But the trap is being set. And I hope these words will reach to Ayatollah Sayyid Ali Khamenei that the trap is being set for Iran to try to get Iran to come over from Bahrain across the causeway into the Arabian Peninsula and to head for Mecca. If Iran ever makes that mistake, if Iran falls for that trap, may God, may Allah grant that the, the, the day may never come, then Iran will be walking into a trap which will provoke Sunni Shia civil war in the house of Islam and they will get what they want. So one can only hope and pray that this plan does not succeed and the Iranians will realize any effort, military effort, to liberate the Arabian Peninsula cannot be on the basis of a Shia attack on Sunni Arabia. No, it is the Imam al-Mahdi, he will liberate the Arabian Peninsula, not Iran. This has been a quick um, contour uh, of the events that are occurring and uh, how Iran is likely to respond to them. Before I end, there is one word of advice for Iran. 
as I gave the same advice to Pakistan and I gave the same advice to Russia that your primary identity is your faith, not your nationality. So as you prepare for the war, you're not fighting as Russians, you're not fighting as Iranians, you're not fighting as Pakistanis. As you prepare for the great war which is coming, in which Allah is going to intervene, you are a Christian people and you follow the son of Mary, the true Messiah. So fight in that war as Christians. And you are a Muslim people who follow Prophet Muhammad, Allah's blessing be upon him. So fight in that war, not as Pakistanis and Iranians. Forget that. Your primary identity is Muslim. And this is what is there in the Quran before we end. Listen to the words constructed in the Quran. Allah says, وَبَعْدَوْتُ بِاللَّهِ مِنَ الشَّيْطَانِ الرَّجِيمِ وَلَا تَجِدَنَّ And you will most certainly find أَقْرَبَهُمْ مَوَدَّةً لِلَّذِينَ آمَنُوا الَّذِينَ قَالُوا إِنَّا نَصَارَ The those who will be closest in love and affection for you, the Ummah of Muhammad would be a people who declare we are Christians. They don't declare we are Roman Catholic. They don't declare we are Protestant. They don't declare we are Orthodox Russian. <laughs> they don't declare we are Tablik. We are Brilvi, we are Deobandi, we are Shia, we are Salafi. Their primary identity is we are Christians. And so the Quran is speaking to us and telling us our primary identity is not Shia. This is my word, a gentle word of advice to Iran. That when you fight in the Great War, you're not fighting as Shia, you're fighting as Muslims. And may Allah grant that His help may come to the believers in the Great War which is coming. Thank you. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.